Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa Cotter and today we're looking at the colouring pages I have planned for the month of April. So thank you everyone for my well wishes. I'm feeling a lot better. I did take last week off um, to recover in time for Easter and I actually did get my art room semi-sorted. I um, had a few more tubs arrive today to sort some more things. Um, I thought in May I would do an art room tour. I thought that'd be very interesting for the channel. So I hope you all had a wonderful Easter. Um, I had a lovely Easter. So um, it was just really nice. I did some art and crafts with the kids. I did some baking. I spent time with the family. So it was just a nice relaxed time. So um let's get started with the coloring pages i have planned so the first off i thought we'd start with some pdfs so this pdfs here are by a go pop illustration on etsy and she has some beautiful images and you may have seen this one in the haul but i thought i would do a color along with this little one up here. I thought that would be really fun to celebrate Easter for the month of April and do a colour along with this one. Um, I have a couple chosen that I really like, but I thought that would be really cute. She's got a paintbrush and she's painting an egg. So I thought that'd be something different we could do. Um, I've actually asked permission and I've gotten full permission to do a colour along on the channel. And the other page I got was this one here. Now this is, I believe, the Easter Tinies, and this is the updated version. And I thought I might do a, a few of these, or I might get the whole page done if I've got the time. Um, but I really like this one and this one. They're all cute. So I got those to do. And um, as I said, I'd love to do a colour along to celebrate Easter with you all. Now, the next one is semi-coloured already, but there's a story behind it. So, I'll show you regardless since I've had started it, and it is on Instagram. So, this is a freebie by Edwina Mitnamy, and I'd actually started colouring this. Now, as you may have heard, I have a two-year-old who loves to help colour in, and I left this page on my desk by accident and Lily decided to help colour in the page. So I have restarted and this is Lily's copy but she's only two so I'm um, not going to be mad at her. She doesn't understand but she actually did pretty good. She loves colouring so she sits there and colours in. She's got her own little colouring books. But yeah, she wanted to help with this one because she liked it. But as I said, this is a freebie by Edwina McNamee. And she has an Etsy store. So I will actually put her Etsy store um, in the description below because she, it's a beautiful store. I've seen it, quite a few images I'd like to buy. They're in my cart. <laughs> and um, they're really gorgeous. So, but... I couldn't really resist doing this page. It's so adorable. So I restarted and I've gotten to this point. So um, this will be done this week sometime. Uh, this will be my next thing. I'm working on something else right now, but I've made a start. So I'm pretty happy. I'm using the Artex colour pencils on this page. And I'm actually testing out the Fabriano white, white paper. And the reason for that is I'm going to do a video on the different papers I use for the different art mediums I use. So, for instance, colour pencils and things like that, um, watercolours, and I'm going to do a video on that. And um, 
I've just thought I'd test some different papers I actually have in my collection. So I have um, printed it out on that and this is really thick paper if you can hear that there. It's beautiful paper. Feels really smooth but it's really toothy. Um, your pencils just love it. So it's definitely a nice paper. So that is what I'll be working on there. This is a freebie, as I said, by Edwina Mitten and Me. Now, I found this on a Facebook group. Um, I'm not sure if it's still available. Um, I'll try and have a hunt and put a link if I can find it so others can get this page because it is gorgeous. And um, I love that page. So, I'll just put them up there so they don't get damaged <laughs> or touched again. Now, um, now we'll start the buddy colours I have this month. Now, I have five buddy colours this month, which is really exciting. All these books here. So I thought we'll have a look through these books. So the first buddy colour I'll be doing is in Miniature Enchanted Forest by Johanna Basford. And this is a buddy colour with Valerie B. And you'll she is a lovely viewer of mine and we are going to actually do this page here so this is the crow page he's got a key and this would be a nice page to do and it'll get me to color in this book so thank you so much valerie um i can't wait to get started this one and the paper feels really good in these books and i might even do this one just so they match um but yeah I'll be doing this with Valerie B, which I can't wait to do. And that is Miniature Enchanted Forest by Johanna Basford. And then the next one I'll be doing is in Travels Through Europe by Rita Berman. And this will be a buddy colour with Amanda Colours. So Amanda and I are very good friends. Um, and Amanda contacted me and asked if we'd like to do the page opposite from what we'd actually done last month. So this is what I did last month. So we're going to do this page here, which I can't wait to do. That's going to be a beautiful page. Um, the only difference, I may not do the green. I'm not sure. I'll see how I go. But I can't wait to do this. So this will be done with my Star Joys since I did them on this page. But yeah, I can't wait to do that one with Amanda. And I hope we do a monthly colour, buddy colour with each other. So she, that's a hint, hint, Amanda, if you're watching. <laughs> so the next one is um, Johanna Basford's Rooms of Wonder and this is a buddy colour with the Colourfully Optimistics Discord group. Now, Hape runs a group where every month we do page 23 by the 23rd. So I've got to get a scoot on. Um, and so this month, we've done it for three months now. And this month we're doing this one, which is fantastic because I've been neglecting this book. I love this book, but it's just so many books I've got and so many beautiful books. And this is the page I'll be doing. So it's a double page spread. And I actually love this page. It's got jars, it's got trees and flowers and crystals and lots of different things. A globe. So I can't wait to do this page. This is going to be really good. And I will use my Artex pencil since it's in my Artex copy. Um, so that is Johanna Basford's Rooms of Wonder. And that will be a buddy colour with the Colourfully Optimistics Discord group, Hape and Zoo, and anyone else that joins in. I will put the Discord, um, not the Discord, I will put the hashtag information in my description below and a link to Hape's um, YouTube channel. And you can actually go and check her video out. Um, I believe she releases a video every month about the page 23 books that she is actually doing. 
so I'll do that. Now the next one is A Frog's Tale by RJ Hampson. And this will be a buddy colour with one of my lovely viewers, Christina. Christina has a YouTube channel and she reached out to me and asked if I'd actually like to do a buddy colour. And this time she actually left it up to me to choose the page which I picked. And another book I really love. I actually, oops. Here are Butterfingers tonight. And I've chosen A Purpose in Liquidy, this page here. So it has little frogs, it's got fish, it's got water, it's got different um, flowers and leaves and lily pads. And I just thought it would be a really different page to do. And I like the shape being a circle. Um, I'm really excited to do this one with Christina. And she has a lovely YouTube channel. So definitely go and have a look there. So thank you so much, Christina, for asking me to buddy colour. That is wonderful. And I can't wait to get started with that one. So last but not least, my buddy colours is my friend Valerie A. Now, Valerie is a good friend of mine on Facebook. We've known each other for about 10 years, I would say. And I reached out to Valerie and I and she's recently started adult colouring and um, she purchased the Circle of Life book after knowing how much I love it. So she purchased the book and I thought, well, I'd ask her if she'd like to do a buddy colour. And she doesn't have, I don't believe she has an Instagram account or a YouTube channel. But Valerie and I met through collecting My Child Dolls. So um, she's a fellow Australian. So that's how we've met. And um, so basically we're going to actually do a page in Circle of Life, which I'm really excited about. So this is done by, <laughs> I'm not going to say it as I always say. And... Um, Valerie's husband chose the page we're doing, which was really exciting too, because it means it's a family effort. And I know that Valerie's sister watches my channel too. So thank you so much. And I hope you join in too. <laughs> so we're going to actually do this beautiful windmill page. And as everyone knows, if you've been watching me, I love this book. So getting back into this book, I just can't wait to get this one started as well. So this will, has like pumpkins, which is great for autumn. And it's got the windmill and flowers and trees. And it's just a really lovely page. So I can't wait to do that one with Valerie. And I actually said to her, why don't you ask your sister as well? I'm not sure if her sister has this book. So it'll be good if she does. So we can all do it together. But, um, it's that page here in Circle of Life. And yes, this is a loved book, this one. So let's have a look now at the colouring books I plan to do. Now, I'm not sure if I'll get them all done. April is a bit busy month. The kids are back at school for another three days and then they are on school holidays for two weeks. So I'm not sure how much I'll get done, but I will do my best to get as much done as I can. So. I will be doing, I'm actually currently nearly finished a page in here in Life Inside of a Jar by Coco Wai. I haven't coloured in this book before and I'm actually doing this page here, but I'm actually trying to recreate it best I can. Now, some of the elements I'm having to draw in myself, um, it doesn't have the bottom of the jar there. It doesn't have the trees, so I've drawn them in. Um, they haven't got the plants here either, so I might try and draw them in. And so I'm up to doing the background, which I'm still not sure um, about these colours. I think I'll be having to do soft pastel, but it's very different than my usual style. So I can't wait for you guys to see that. It will be on Instagram, 
possibly tomorrow if I can. So, Life Inside of a Jar by Coco Wyo. Now, another page I would love to get done is in Mouse Guard Coloring Book. And I'm actually, I want to go through page by page. So, and the first one is rather fitting being this one here because it's autumn here. So it's got the walnuts and you've got the leaves. And I thought that'd be just a really easy, simple start to the book. So I would love to get this one done, but I'm just not sure if I'll get it done. But I thought this would be really good, something to, to do. And um, I think it's adorable. Now, this one I haven't coloured in yet. This is Romantic Country. This is the first book. Now, Amanda Colours, I'm not sure if it's over yet, but she actually has a challenge where you've got to do a tree. Uh, no, not a tree, a chair. And I'm not sure if it's over yet, but I actually had chosen this page to do. So, if it's not over, I will attempt to get this page done in Romantic Country. If it is over, I will put this on my back list of things to get to. But it is a gorgeous page and it's got chairs. And I thought that would be really cute to do. And it would make me colour in this book by area. It's a beautiful book. It's just a shame I can't get number three. So the next one I would love to get done. <laughs> And I know I keep saying love to get done, but I'm not sure if I will, is this one here. Now, being Easter, I've tried to choose some pages this month that are all bunnies and Easter related. Um, so it's this one here. Um, I thought this would be fantastic. Again, another book I haven't coloured in. So it would be a chance to get... Um, a page done in this book because I love this book it's beautiful I love flipping through and looking at this and this is Mythomorphia by Kirby Rosanes now the next one I am not sure if I'll get done this is the Mythographic Dream Garden um, by Fabiana Ateneso and I'm not sure if I will get done but if I get a chance um, again, a book I haven't coloured in, and I thought I would actually do this rabbit page here. Being Easter, I thought with the rabbits there, it will be a perfect page to do. Um, I really think this is an adorable page. I know there's hidden objects, so I'm not really going to worry about them, but this is a really cute page. So I thought I would try and get this one done, um, just to get some of these books that aren't coloured in, coloured in. <laughs> so, carrying on with my Luna Maria Troll, I have decided to get done this page here. So this is the page I've decided to do. I will be using Black Widows and continuing on. Um, I really want to get into this book as much as possible. So I think that's an adorable little rabbit there. Again, doing the Easter theme. Trouble is there's so many nice Easter pages. Now, another one I have picked out is Hannah Carlson Seasons. And it was between two of them, but I've decided to actually do a complete different page. Um, page I have decided to do is the little chickens here and I just thought this would be a perfect page to do um, I haven't done this one yet and it was between this one or getting the page next to this one done in sort of the same sort of colors but I think I will actually do the other page um, because even though this would have been perfect for Easter, I did this, um, the other month. So 
Um, this is another beautiful book. But yeah, I'll get this one done. It's cute. So that's Seasons by Hannah Carlson. Now, another one I'd like to get one or two pages done is a springtime colouring book by Morgan O'Brien. Now, this is going, this is the Matchstick Mouse, and this has some Easter pages. So, this is the page I thought I would actually get done. The Easter hunting. Amanda Colours actually has a hashtag to do with Easter and the Matchstick Mouse. So, um, I thought I would do one of those, or a couple. So, I've chosen this one, but I've also shortlisted... This one, because I thought that one's cute as well. So I thought I'd do either both of them or just one of them. I do want to leave some of the Easter pages. So next year I've got something to do Easter wise. Um, but yeah, I like this one too with him sleeping. I might do that one instead. <laughs> That's gorgeous. So that is The Matchstick Mouse by Morgan O'Brien. Now, last but not least, and I'm not sure if I'll get done, but I'd like to actually get a title page done this month. Um, Amanda Colours on Colour With Us with Disney Megs, that's a Facebook group they have, has um, title page Tuesday. So I'd like to actually get a title page done. And I haven't coloured in this book. The trouble is I really want to take my time and effort in this book I don't want to rush things but um, this is the mushrooms in the autumn because it's autumn here I thought I would love to do this one um, because it's just adorable so um, doing them and very shortly I'd love to do that one especially to celebrate autumn um, so it'll be one of those I'm not sure which I doubt I'll be able to get both done. <laughs> I think I've overestimated, pulled myself this month with all the books I've chosen. Um, I would love Mariola Burdeck has um, some Easter freebies as well. Um, I would have loved to get one of them done. Um, Hannah Lynn actually has a freebie as well. <laughs> and um, again, I would love to do it. So if I get the chance... I will, um, but with the kids on school holidays, I'm just not sure how much I'll get done this month. So those are all my colouring pages that I've chosen for the month of April. I think I've got too many colouring books there chosen. So what I'm going to do is um, every month to just try and pull some more colouring books out that I haven't coloured in and just get a page done um, because I really want to get some of my colouring books coloured in as much as possible. So what colouring book would you like to colour in that I've chosen out of my collection? So thank you so much for watching. Take care. And if you liked this video, press like and subscribe and press that bell button to be notified when I release another video. Take care. Have a lovely day. Bye.